Kenneth Meshwe is on the campaign trail in Mpombela, Mpumalanga. Let's cross to SABC News reporter Tumelo Machoho. A very good afternoon to you, Tumelo. What's Meshwe saying to people in Mpumalanga to try and woo them? Well, in Zinga, the president and the deputy president, Mr. M uh, Kenneth Meshwe, and also Wayne Tering, they've been speaking to candidates, especially councillor candidates here, and also religious leaders, church leaders here in Mbombela, wooing them for to uh, ask the people in their communities to vote for them because they're saying that they want to cont they're contesting here in Mbumalanga. In particular, they want to win a couple of wards, especially here in Mbombela, the, the city here. Mr. Meshwe was speaking to us earlier he told us that you know he's, uh, he was disappointed with the level of service delivery in Mbombela. He said that he, he passed a lot of potholes, uh, the water that he was uh, uh, at the hotel that he was sleeping at was not very clean. So it really shows that uh, they're saying that the Mbombela municipality is not providing services to the people. But he said that they're not, they don't want to win municipalities. They just want to have uh, councillors and also uh, represented in municipalities so that they ensure that they have people in those municipalities that will be representing them. They're saying that they are hoping by 2024 they will have a, a more, they would actually contest all of the wards in the, in the country to ensure that they also win municipalities. But so far he's saying that they don't want to win any municipality, they just want to have representative in, in municipal councils. But also let's speak quickly to, to some of the uh, councillor candidates here in Mbombela. Um, Naomi, uh, Masangu, Naomi, just talk to us about the message that you got from the, the president and the deputy president that they have been speaking to you guys about. And also talk to me about which war in particular you're hoping that you're going to win here in Bombay. Um, so basically, the message that the president and the uh, deputy president stressed on was the liberty. Um, we, as the African Democratic Party, uh, Christian Democratic Party, want to see freedom, freedom in, 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 in basically every area, um, looking at social, um, uh, uh, looking at the economic, looking at service delivery. Um, so uh, the, 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 the party that I'm representing is Null Sprite. Null Sprite. So we are looking, he's a very realistic man. We are looking at winning seats in Null Sprite and um, having seats and having a voice as Christians and standing for the truth so that there can be service delivery, so that we can have clean water, so that we can have electricity. Um, it's such things that he was talking about, talking about ESCOM, talking about a lot of things. So we, as, as, as the standing in for, for being councillors, we are backing him, we are supporting him, and we believe and we trust God that we are going to get a seat. And what are these challenges that you're speaking about, especially here in Bombella, the way you are currently one of the, the, the candidates? What are you guys, what are the challenges and what are people saying that uh, challenges that they have in their municipality, uh, also in their areas where they live? One of the major challenges is our roads. Our roads are very poor. You get potholes even in the middle of town, which is, which is really unacceptable. Um, we need the right people that are in leadership to run the municipality so that we can have good roads. And um, number two, uh, you're looking at when it comes to the youth, the youth are always complaining. Only people, the only people that get opportunities is people, is, is if you know somebody or if you have money to buy a job or buy a tender. So that corruption needs to come into a stop. We as councillors want to bring the corruption to a stop. We are running for Christ and we are representing Christ. We are speaking the level, the, the language of Christ. So we are, we are, we are running it in dignity as councillors. Okay, Naomi, thank you so much. That was one of the uh, councillor candidate. Naomi, let me speak to Suzelle. She so is also here who are representing White River and also here in Mbombela. Some words there in White River. Just talk to me about the message that you got today and also uh, what are you uh, are promising to the people that you are, are currently campaigning to? What is the, uh, the message that you are, you're saying to them that, and what are you hoping to achieve when, if you uh, uh, win one of those words. Yes. Okay, good. Um, like, um, like the president of Naomi said that the president is, is talking about maintenance. Maintenance um, that's not being maintained. So we're talking about wastewater treatment plants. Now I can speak about that concerning White River. We've had an in-depth um, investigation concerning what's, what's happening there. The reason is the people that's running the wastewater treatment plant does not know what they are doing.
So it's not being maintained, it's not being properly treated, and this is why you've got the problem. So it's, it's solvable problems. We do not have to spend, spend millions in building a new system. Just treat the current system the way it should be treated and upgrade it. That's a, it's a simple solution, okay? The next one would be then um, roads, like she said, that we need to fix that. I've actually, I'm standing in a couple of the wards in um, Masoy, as well as in Cabo Queen, as well as in Kanyamazan. And in, in those areas, we have a problem with water. I mean, we've got the water trucks that's coming in that service the people once every two, three weeks. Now, you cannot have enough containers for two, three weeks. That's impossible. So, so we want we want water, to, and, and and the system is there. The water system is there. People can have water right up into their yards or into the communities. So these trucks can be uh, uh, eliminated. That is that's a, that's a failing failing the people in delivering water on a regular basis in the first place, and obviously having the problem that uh, it's an easier way to 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 uh, corrupt, to get corrupted and take money. Okay, so that would be the two people, uh, or the two things that we would focus that I would focus on: as a wastewater treatment, roads, and f- uh, lastly, have fresh water in the communities and 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 rubbish removal. That's one thing that you don't see. There is no rubbish removal. The the, the communities is a rubbish heap. That's a, that's calling for for diseases. It's calling it's unnecessary pressure on all your systems. Because one little thing is not gained, getting done. So this is the, my main focus, is cleaning up the communities, seeing that they get service delivered in, the, in respect of uh, rubbish removal, uh, supplying water, and seeing that their roads is running properly and that they've got electricity continuously. You talk about these services that people have been read, that are not being given. Mm-hmm. Uh, are, are, when you go to these communities, are they showing uh, an appetite to go to to vote, especially on the first of election on the on the first of November uh, on election day? Are there people really wanting to vote, or are they just like reluctant at this point because of the, the not being able to get services for uh, for a number of years? Well, there, 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 there was a reluctance. There was an apathy that crept in. But for this, for some other reason, this, this election, the people want to see change. They are hunger for change, and they are, they are ready to elect again. Obviously, there's a lot still that needs to be uh, um, made away. But uh, as soon as there's change happening, people will start realizing their votes make a difference. Okay, thank you so much. That is Suzanne Martin. He's also one of the, the councillor candidates. She's representing a couple of words in uh, Kanyamazane, Kabukweni, and also in White River. They're talking about issues of service delivery that have not been rendered to communities in Zinga, but also uh, the, the president and the deputy president, they're still inside, actually talking to more candidates to actually to talk to them about issues that they can, how they're going to, to actually to manage this election, how they're going to go to communities to engage the communities to actually vote for them because this is what they're doing. Their campaigning is only about two weeks left before the election so they are really ramping up their campaign to ensure that they go out there to all the communities that and encourage them to go to vote on the 1st of November. Zinga? Thanks for that update.